I don't think people realize how impactful positive affirmations can be for your confidence because hello, hello, my love. Welcome back to Arouse for another episode. And if you're new around here, welcome. My name is Sam. I am your host and personal life coach for today. And today's episode is 10 daily affirmations for confidence and why you need to even do this in the first place to help you build your confidence. So let's get into all the tea. Warning, the following presentation is intended for mature audiences. It includes stigma topics like sex, addictions, mental illness, adult dialogue, and strong language. Viewer discretion is advised. Positive affirmations are kind of getting a bad rep in the online space right now. A lot of life coaches don't agree with having positive affirmations in their daily routine or they're reframing what positive affirmations are and saying that they're not positive affirmations because they don't support positive affirmations. Although they still use positive affirmations for their clients, they just don't say that they are. And I absolutely hate this because positive affirmations affirmations have been a huge deal to me and have had a huge impact on my confidence. I don't think people realize how impactful positive affirmations can actually be for your confidence because if you know anything about my journey or if you're new around here then you won't know this yet. I tattooed a positive affirmation on my body when I was only 19 years old. I am 26 now, 26 and a half. I've had it for seven years and so when people ask me, well Sam what do you think about positive affirmations, I'm always like, I'm for it. I love positive affirmations. I think they definitely help your mindset and your thoughts. But there's some coaches and people in the online space that don't support these. And whatever the reasoning is behind it, I just don't agree. Because I had your beautiful tattooed on me when I was 19 years old on my clavicle or my collarbone backwards. So when I would look in the mirror, I could read, you're beautiful. Yes, a lot of positive affirmations. And even when I tell my clients, you say I am statements. I was also 19 at the time. I was just trying to build my confidence. I didn't really know where to start. I could have wrote I am beautiful, but instead it says you're beautiful. And I am referring to myself, obviously. I was still using positive affirmations before I even fucking knew what they were. I just knew I need to tell myself this over and over again because eventually I'm going to believe it and that's the end goal. That's what matters. So that's why I love these 10 daily affirmations for confidence that I came across from myboldbody.com and I wanted to share them with you too. I have a card deck full of 45 affirmations to help build your confidence. And I love using my card deck all the time for myself, for clients, for friends. But here are 10 other daily affirmations or positive affirmations that you can say for yourself that are from someone else, because I always love sharing other people's expertise and different ways of creating your own daily affirmations. I am, of course, all for the I am statements, but these ones are a little different. So here we go. Number one, I believe in myself and trust my abilities to do great things. Now, this is a really great opportunity for you to grab your notebook, pull out your phone. I hope you're not driving. If you're like me and you like to listen to podcasts when you're driving, maybe just bookmark this episode or screenshot it as you're driving that this is when I'm starting to talk about the positive affirmation so you don't potentially get into an accident. But when you have an opportunity, write these down and I actually just started writing positive affirmations on my mirror. I actually heard this from Rachel Peterson and love her to pieces. I love looking at my mirror and seeing my positive affirmations on my mirror. So that's another thing that you can do, but write these down so you always have access to them. And I'm gonna repeat them twice. I believe in myself and I trust my abilities to do great things. That's number one. Number two, I am a complete badass and refuse to act otherwise. Number two again is I am a complete badass and refuse to act otherwise. Number three, there are no obstacles I cannot overcome. There are no obstacles I cannot overcome. I am worthy of getting that which I deserve. I am worthy of getting that which I deserve. I am a confident and beautiful person. I am a confident and beautiful person. There are over 7 billion humans, but only one me. There are over 7 billion humans, 
but only one me. My life is a miracle, and I am grateful for it. My life is a miracle, and I am grateful for it. The universe is extremely lucky to have someone as cool as me. I love this one, by the way. (laughs) The universe is extremely lucky to have someone as cool as me. Each day, I become better, braver, and bolder. Each day, I become better, braver, and bolder. I am capable of so much more than I think. I am capable of so much more than I think. Now, these 10 affirmations are so powerful. Just repeating them twice to you while I'm recording this episode is already giving me myself a little confidence boost. And of course, I am the confidence queen. I have how many episodes on my podcast that you're listening to right now that has, I've even lost track. What episode am I on? (laughs) 40 something, 30, I don't even know. So many episodes about confidence, but I love building my confidence. I continue to work my confidence. And this is something that I stated even at the very beginning of the series, Boost Your Confidence series here on the podcast is building your confidence is like working your muscles out at the gym. You need to continue to work on your confidence, aka your strength when you're lifting weights at the gym to continue to get stronger and stronger and stronger. When you stop going to the gym or stop working on your confidence, it's not like it disappears right away, but you're going to slowly lose that more and more each day that you don't work on your confidence. So let me know what was your favorite positive affirmation from today's episode, which one really stuck to you or which one you really need to repeat to yourself over and over again because you want to believe it 100%. Let me know in comments, tag me on a post at the Soulful Body Co on Instagram or Facebook and make sure to leave me a five-star rating and review on Apple Podcasts. I love hearing from you and getting feedback so I can do better on my podcast for you and show up. Until next time, I love you so much and I will see you in the next episode. 